we talked a little bit about, as Chris mentioned in the panel earlier, about about the Indian market and how rapidly it is growing, and how actually, you know, how to be able to break into that. Basically, it's it's. It, before we get into the slides, if you look into where China was about five years ago, where, where we were starting to see some downloads, where we were starting to see some revenue, but it was very close, nobody knew exactly what was happening. I would say that you know India is right now there times 10 because it's very complicated there is you know the good thing about india is that you're not talking about only the external 150 channels which were mentioned in the previous panel we're talking about four or five different channels where you can get the downloads from but those downloads are there but how do you make money how do you get to the users how do you how do you reach out to the consumers where it eventually becomes your players uh, in the mix so if you look at from the indian market the, the CHR, it's about 2x the global media entertainment industry where the focus is going. It's growing at 13 to 14% month on month currently. And if you look at it, it's the growth of since 2014. If you look at it from 14 to now, it's a cumulative growth of about 15%. Uh, you know, no, sorry, 20%. But if you look at in the last six months, the growth has been significant, and there has been multiple reasons uh, for the growth. One being, you know, the the the, the networks availability, the smartphones, and I get into a lot of that in the later stage. I've actually picked up a lot of my slides. I actually changed them in the last two days because there's a study which came out with Google and KPMG did this study in India, and they just published the report. So I actually picked up a lot of new and relevant data for the market because it was very relevant uh, for this uh, for the market per se so if you look at it the indian global market there are about 190 million gamers uh, roughly and it's becoming about a you know and actually the report is saying that it's going to be become a 1 billion market by 2021 and the reason that is is that the growth of 300 million to a billion in four years is, doesn't seem that great, but this is the revenue opportunity from the you know from the in-app purchases. You're not totally not talking about the the ad revenue. We're not talking about the branding. We're not talking about the cumulative growth coming in from the ancillary channels. So if you pull it all together, we anticipate this is going to be about 10 plus billion dollar market because the way you reach out to the consumer, it's a huge growth on that component. And if you look at it what is working it's it's you know interestingly the the casino market there is a real time money market that you know the 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 real the localized version of uh, the casino is a play market drives close to about a hundred plus million dollars of real cash money in there that's expected to grow to a billion in itself cricket drives a significant amount of running uh, revenue Bollywood drives a significant amount of downloads and then the stars or the uh, you know or the or the actors uh, and the talent drives a significant amount of engagement so different components drive different uh, different uh, components in the marketplace so if you look at the gaming market so gaming revenue going from 290 to a bill in next you know with a three and a half percent three and a half times growth within less than about five years online gamers growing almost tripling uh, in this and the, and the way they have classified online gamers is they've put mobile gamers online gamers HTML5 gamers all of them together what they have not done is the console they've kept separated, separated that out in there what is driving is the the number of internet users from going up to 750 you know seven about 750 million users from where it is currently uh, digital payments is a big component in India right now the digital I mean only less than two percent of the people have credit cards in India it's a cash economy changing very rapidly uh, to the digital world there's a wallets like what we are used to Apple pay or Google wallet I mean there's different multiple wallets which are doing well the Google uh, digital payment mechanisms are coming in where they're connecting to the direct carriers as you know about 97 percent of the market in India is prepaid it's not postpaid so people actually put the money to the, you know in their accounts in the carriers and in and, and they're actually using that as a wallet to do transactions and that's what's going to change the economy significantly because Google is betting um, on these DCPs what they're calling is a direct carrier integration for payment mechanisms so if you are let's say if you're here on AT&T or Verizon instead of paying them at the end of the month you, you know you say I put hundred dollars you use that hundred dollars to do multiple transactions not just only for buying your cell phone minutes or data but you're doing that as a transaction mechanism so that's becoming a big big play in the marketplace so if you look at the 
another reason why the device, you know, why the growth is going to be so huge is because of the availability of devices. They're adding about 30 million devices a month in India right now. If you look at it six months ago, there were less than 50 million smartphone users, and that's growing up to be about 500, you know, about half a billion within the next four years. They're expected to close that year about 300 million by end of this year. So numbers are huge, what the number of new users who are coming in. And these are not the phones which you and I use. I mean, this, these are not the iPhones, or these are not the Samsungs, or these are not the LGs. They are there, but they're on a very high-end market. The devices which are selling are localized versions of the Chinese devices, less than you know, $100, $150 retail price. So, and the average device uh, ownership is about eight months in India. So every eight months, these guys will go in and change the devices because the market, you know, the device capability changes quite, quite dramatically. So it's, uh, so the, the so market size is about the second largest right now in the smartphones. It's about 220, what they're saying. It's expected to buy this India, they'll say it about 300 million devices. The, uh, the internet or online people connected are significant. A um, lot of people connect, 90 plus percent of the people connect through their mobile device. It's not what we see or what we use as a internet, our first device sometimes is computers or laptops. There it's all about mobile. A lot of the people do not have or never connected to the internet through through the through their in computers or laptops. They've done it directly through this. In the last four uh, two years, in the last specifically last two quarters, Google Play has been a dominant factor. It's been driving a significant installs for the number of users per year. So they're you know if you look at it, they're saying it's about a 5.3 billion, and this is the prediction from Google, that they'll hit 5.3 billion downloads by 2020 just in India. I think we're gonna make that number, you know, what we're seeing on a daily basis and number of downloads increasing in the last six months. We believe that number is gonna come much sooner. It's coming in next 18 months itself. So the num average user consumption of a game or an app is four times or five times of what we typically uh, have over here. So the, every, the whole economy and the whole world lives on the app world here in that market. So the year-on-year -year growth, if you look at it just from a monthly basis, is just so much, you know, significant. And the mo and the desktop is not dying. The desktop or online gaming, a lot of you know, here we stop playing. You know, we stop me not playing on the online. Um, we run one of the biggest online gaming sites in in India and in Asia, and our numbers have been steadily growing. But if you look at this, it seems like it's you know pretty flat on there. But the overall market pie is so increasing, and a lot of people, when we constitute of the growth in the mobile. It's HTML5 players coming in and wanting to play the games. I mean, there's a casual games being played on, you know, on the on, on these sites as well. So there's online and desktop are, are to a certain extent merged commodities to a, you know because a lot of players are coming in from their care from their uh, from their browsers to be able to play these games. So game downloads are increasing significantly and if you look at it from 14 to 15 to 16 and the 17 we are expecting this to be a 4x growth because localized version the regional uh, regional content is creating a lot of traction the the time of time spent on an average time spent within the game is significant and if you look at a number of sessions and number of time it's typically about 2x what we have here in the US so if an average session here was about five and a half six minutes we've seen that sessions about four four and a half minutes there but Typically, they'll have four or five sessions a day, uh, you know, because a lot of people spend a lot of time commuting. So, if you look at in within the eight o'clock to the ten o'clock, what is the commute time? And again, in the evening, those two-hour bracket and two-hour in the evening, in morning and evening bracket, a significant amount of uptake happens. And that's so not only gaming, but also video consumption and uh, short video consumption and and other content types do really well there. So we. A lot of the questions which I get asked is, how do I make money? What is working? What is not working in India? I mean, monet, you know, freemium is the way to go, and digital, you know, and international companies like Candy Crush and you know, the Clash of Clans do make money through through their you know through the regular in-app channels. It is, you know, there are a lot of, you know, I mean, if you look at it, uh, Candy Crush, I think, has, it's uh, India is number five, or number between the top five players, uh, countries, where the number of sessions, if you look at it, are significant in there. 
but it's not driving the number of installs. Subway Surfer, I mean, if you talk to the Kilo guys, Kilo guys are, you know, if you look at it, they are saying that, uh, you know, they are getting so many downloads, uh, so many downloads uh, on a daily basis in India compared to the global numbers. It's just significant. I mean, they're actually starting to integrate the the regional and Indianized themes. There was actually four. Uh, clones which have come up. I mean, if you actually look at the companies who've done the clones from India, it's in increasingly interesting to see that these games look exactly like that just on an Indian team. And they're, you know, and all of these guys have five, six, seven million DAOs just, just on a, just by copying Subway Surfer or a Temple Run. So these games are making downloads, these games are making revenues, but nobody's able to figure out by local localized version of how to actually connect the both, where you have more downloads and you have the revenue as well. So what 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 is working, what is not, right? I mean, if you look at it, the kind of genres, if you look at three years ago, it was all about sports. It was all about cricket. It was all about racing. Those were the only two genres which worked in India. Interestingly, the strategy games and the, are, are starting to pick up. People are getting, these are the gamers who are spending a lot of their time in trying to play these, uh, have a longer session's time. These are people who are spending money. These are people who are engaging on a traditional model from our in-app purchases. But skill or chance-based games, which what what we call online casino games, is a driving a lot of revenue. That's where the total, you know, where this is real cash money which is being spent mostly on through the uh, online casino, online HTML5. So people are playing from their mobile devices, but through a browser-based game environment because of Apple and Google does not enable them to have real uh, component. So. Freemium still drives a significant amount of engagement. 90 plus percent of the games are coming in from the freemium model in our traditional mobile world. But if you take that, uh, what people are playing, it's a real cash money on the casino based, where the, where, which is driving the most monetization. People, if you look at the ARPU of a, you know, some of these players, it's close to about you know, $1,000 a month, what they're spending in the games on a real time cash basis. So it's, it's uh, you know, they're really taking the casino to a completely different world. I mean, this number is, is you know, it's very similar to traditional gaming world, but a little more skewed towards the male uh, audience in that market, where people are, uh, you know, obviously male owner, uh, male players. But what is very interesting is 60% of the people who are playing these games are young audience. They're less than 24, and they're spending a lot of their time in engagement of these games because they've grown up. If you look at the anything, anybody, you know, uh, 80 is above, they had, they did not grow up playing games. You know, India was never a gaming nation. So they, they've started playing games mostly on the mobile world. There are few players who play on the PC or the MMOGs or console, but console is very, very tiny. I mean, we, you know, we, we, we you know, when we have our Codemasters, which is our console business, when we look at that, I mean, our numbers are so small in that market. It's just, you know, it's just very, very, uh, you know, insignificant in the overall mix of things. What are the, you know, as I said, the top genres is becoming, you know, puzzle, it's becoming action, it's becoming adventure, which was not the case. It was earlier used to be about sports, it was earlier used to be about racing, but, you know, these uh, puzzle genres are starting to, we just released a game on the action genre, and it's getting a pretty decent traction in that market base. Um, but if you look at the number of smartphones time versus game, it's about 7% of their total time is being spent on playing games on their daily time. And, it's a, in a, and people spend a lot of their time on the phone. I mean, if you see, if you go to India, I mean, 90% of the time you'll see people, you know, on the phone all the time. And it's in the WhatsApp, actually, which is the, you know, which Facebook wired, is dominated by Indian market. I mean, if, if they take away the WhatsApp users in India, I think 70% of the users will disappear globally because they're connected somehow or the other through that market. The data consumption has imp increased quite dramatically in the last six months. There's a 4G was launched about six months, and when they launched 4G, one of the, the new uh, Carriers actually launched 4G at a at a price point of which was very very cheap called zero, so the whole world moved to that. You know when you give them something free, people you know move start moving to there. They came up with a very interesting strategy where they gave away data for free and they gave away content for free, 
and they came up with a device which was less than 20 bucks. So the whole world moved to their to that environment where they they've been able to acquire about 200 million users in less than six months, and they've started to charge. But their price, the way they priced it, is about one tenth of everybody else how they were selling data. So the data consumption, which is what they're talking about, 200 MB per data, actually used to be you know less you know, about 40, 50 MB, and they're actually anticipating about four or to five gig of data by end of 2017 on average consumption, which is humongous change in the world. And that will drive a lot of our, the way the games are going to be, because if you sold games, if you were market, targeting the market in India, the average size of the game, which everybody said, oh, don't do anything more than five or seven meg. That's what you would have heard. But now the games are about 30, 40, 20 to 40 meg. You know, you can get 30, 40 meg games, which are actually getting decent downloads. Um, you can down, you know, you can get the number, the number of downloads are significant in that market. You're talking about a game, a typical a game could be doing about 5 million downloads. A decent game, which is midway and average, should be doing about 10 to 15. And if it's a decent hit, you're talking about 40, 50 million downloads. And we're talking about, this is not numbers over the years, we're talking about two, three months downloads. So downloads are increasing on a day-to-day -day basis. If you look at the, the guys who are into the gaming, so when you get into the heavy gamer component, the action and, and the puzzle games are driving a lot of consumption in there. I mean, if you have somebody who's playing an action game, if you get a COD kind of a clone, or if you get somebody, uh, you know, even the, even the clash of uh, COC does so much more engagement in India compared to the others. There are clans who are spending, you know, who have, uh, you know, WhatsApp group, which is not even run by the COC environment teams. They're run by themselves, where they're actually collaborating and they have their own world, which they've built together just to be able to go after these games. So significant amount of interaction there. The, the number of minutes goes up to 1700s, which is significant. If you look at it overall, break it down on a day-to-day -day basis. The of time and effort they're spending in there and and as well, there was a comment made in the in the in the panel it's sim something similar to china right i mean a lot of people over the weekend is connected through the world through the gaming because on the weekend there is not they're not going out and spending time and going and you know and doing multiple other activities they are connected on their smartphones either watching content through the videos or short videos or playing games so sig a very uh, very engaged environment and engaged uh, uh, world there so if you look at the numbers are, when we look at from, go back to the numbers, you go back to saying male versus female consumption, we saw that 83% and 17% consumption, 83% being towards the male. But when you break it down further, that numbers are not that different for the male gamers and the female gamers. I mean, if they, once they're in there, you know, the, the, the engagement patterns are very much similar to, you know, from a, both there. But the numbers pick up significantly after 8 o'clock in the night. It's a late economy. A lot of people don't get back to work till about 8.39. So this is a com consumed uh, commute time. So when they're back home, so if you see it from 8 to 12, that's about 50% of your consumption of your content happens. And, and a lot of downloads actually happen after 7.30. And interestingly, if it's a big game, if it is anything above 50 meg, you will see those downloads happening between 10 and 7 on a Wi-Fi at work. People will download it, but you know consumption will happen much later because people don't, you know, they're very, very conscious, even though the data has become very cheap and it readily available, but still people are very conscious of, of the data. They will, you know, they will switch off your game. They will start, you know, they will, uh, you know, uninstall your game because it, it they, it's always connected or it requires a very constant connection back and forth. Uh, in the, you know, and we, I think I get into a little bit of uh, value phones here, where we're talking about the average phone price is when we say about 20k. That's 75 percent. If you break it down, so 20 20k rupees is uh, close to about. Uh, $250. But if you break that down you know, further, about more than 50% is less than $100 sub retail prices for a device. So when you have that, you know, that cheaper for device, obviously their memory footprint is less, their storage footprint is less. So they're very conscious of the size of the game and they're also very conscious of, because these typical uninstalls happen a lot. 
So you will get a game, if you can't engage them in the first two, three days, they will uninstall very quickly. So when we track, I don't, you know, when we track on the global games business, I don't track that much of my uninstalls because I know once I've gotten the player, once they've gotten to the Fatui, they will stick around for, you know, three, four, five, seven days and I can look at them now. Here we actually track on a DAOs are so much more important for us because my, if I can retain them on day one, my numbers are number, day two are numbers are very different and my day three numbers are very different. So you will very rarely have somebody playing your game for months and months and months. So the longevity of a game is very, very limited. So you're constantly getting new users, inquiring them, and if you can create a, you know, a network where you take you know, user from one game to the other to there because they will get bored and you will lose users on a regular basis because they don't want to keep playing the same thing. So, so how are they downloading the games, which is a very interesting phenomena from that perspective. The, there is still a subscription model which the carriers or direct-to-marketing component works in India. Um, you can actually, every big gaming company has their own subscription channels. They run about a million plus DAOs just to be able to download, you know, driving downloads and engagement. So that number you never get to see because they're not coming from Google, they're not coming from Apple, or they're not coming from traditionals. Some of the old Java games still do well. Some of the old HTML5 uh, games do well. Samsung has their Tizen store which is a Tizen OS that does okay. So you have to start looking at alternative channels to be able to drive engagement and downloads. Um, I think the market will change in the next three to six months with Google integrating with all the carriers where the subscription used to be off tech channels where it was connected to the payments through their uh, through the uh, carrier billing. But I think it might shift to to the to the Google and with with this microtransaction model, they have a the, uh, the biggest micro transaction which happens is 20 cents in India right now. They're talking about potentially even bringing it down further. So it could be a starting point, could be five cents for a micro transaction because what a typical subscriber in India, uh, about 50% of the downloads or monetization happens through the subscription models. They pay on a daily basis. They, they will buy a, a daily subscription for a certain price point and they can download up to 40 games that day and they can get to play. So that's, those are, some of them have ads, but majority of them are ad-free models in the marketplace. So when you look at the growth, you have to look at the linguistic aspect of it. There are about 23 languages that are localized. You know, you have to localize them. You have to regionalize them. You can't just take a game from global market and just release it in India and hope that you'll make money. You can hope, but very difficult to make money because they're, you know, because of these channels or because of the, because of the different monetization aspect of it. Internet users are expanding. Localized content, localized developers are expanding quite significantly. There are new developers coming on a daily basis trying to understand the market. But you're looking at, if you want to launch a game and you want to be successful in India, you're looking at about five to six languages you want to typically go after. So just to be able to wrap up, what is the market uh, gaming trends? Young, definitely a very young audience. They're all connected mobile. You know, it's, it has to be mobile focused. Don't look at just online only from an internet, but it's to be browser based, mobile based uh, consumption. Engagement is extremely, extremely high. Com you cannot compare them. Okay, I have X consumption engagement in the global markets. It should be 2X or 2.5X. It all depends on the game and the genre you are. You could have 5X or 6X engagement, which you would not, you know, which you would not typically see. And then obviously, a smartphone devices. There are devices which are available which we don't support. There are, you know, in India, I'm supporting about 1,000 odd devices on an average game, which we were testing on. We're testing about 600 plus devices just to be able to get them out market. And 90% of those devices are not available outside India. So you want to be able to work with the localized partner just to be able to understand what devices and how to support. If you can support one and a half gig memory footprint, that's not going to work. We, you know, they go down to 256 MB or a 512 MB uh, memory footprint to be able to support those Android devices. And it's all about Android, uh, Android market. So just to be able to wrap up, significant amount of players, 59% of the players are 20, you know, 20 in, in mid-20s, 82% of their mobile devices, people play on, uh, on the online world, and they're talking, you know, and consumption, even when you look at a PC, is there, but limited only through browser, and, and tablets are very, very, very few. Majority of your games have to be on the small screen perspective. Uh, I know I'm running late here on the time. Uh, anything, any questions which you have or 
Yes, please. I know that iOS hasn't really been in the India market up till now, and I know that Apple is making a concerted effort now. To, yes. Do you, what do you think the difference is going to be in the market once that happens? I, I think that's going to be a big market. I mean, Apple has made a huge uh, commitment in in uh, in India in the last three to four months, where they've even set up their labs and stuff. Uh, with a low end, you know, with a, the, it's very going to be hard to be able to sell a thousand dollar devices. If they do get when they start manufacturing, which seems to be the case, the rumors are that they're going to have a device available for about two hundred. Meg, two hundred dollar price point, it will change. You will have uh, a lot of players moving to uh, you know Apple and iOS, but it won't be like uh, it won't be like China where a lot of people, even if they were expensive, everybody went and bought that device because it was a status symbol. It's not that of a status symbol in India. They want more of a diversity in the device, just just be able to say that okay, I'm on an Apple device. So it's a cultural difference, which is so price is a more determination factor than just a, a status symbol. You'll have few people who will on the top of the end they'll use Apple. Apple, but they have to get to the mass market.